Guys, we are watching the US dollar facing its biggest fight of its life right now. The US dollar is in real trouble. I'm gonna tell you what happened this week, which I think is an absolute game changer for US monetary policy and frankly, global power structure. You know, we've been talking about the new world order, what that's going to look like. The United States and the globalists that run the World Economic Forum want a what they call a unipolar order, right? One sort of globalist cabal that's running the show. Well, there are other countries that have a different opinion of that and do not believe that we should have a unipolar order. They want a multipolar order, that every country, territory, land, customs, cultures are all different. You're really going to run what happens in Russia and Canada and Brazil with one government run out of Brussels, right? It doesn't make any sense, but that's what the globalists want. They also want a one world sort of digital currency that they control everything. Again, other countries have a different opinion of that, and they don't think that globalists should be running the show. And you're seeing the US dollar in the middle of all this being crushed as a result. So what happened this week? Well, a couple of big moving pieces. First of all, Moscow was probably the biggest story in the world, but of course the mainstream media in the United States wants you to focus on other stories. They want you to focus on you know, Donald Trump being arrested or whatever reality TV show issue is going on right now or the Academy Awards or whatever. No, no, the biggest story in the world happened in Moscow this week. Chinese President Xi Jinping flew into Moscow, met with Vladimir Putin. They met for three days and they wrote up and documented 14 different signed agreements. 14 of them. They met for hours every day. And when they left, they said, we are about to change the world order, shook hands and said, goodbye, my friend. It was a, an unbelievable summit if you're paying attention to what's happening in the world right now. Now, remember about a year ago when President Biden flew into Saudi Arabia and was basically mocked. And when they left, they, it was well reported that they were laughing at him when he left. He was begging them to not cut production of oil and you know create new oil partnerships with the United States. They basically looked right in his face and said, no, we're not going to do that. So what happened this week? Well, these 14 agreements that Vladimir Putin signed with Xi Jinping are about trade, uh, the, the economy, um, currency, um, about military exercises. The list is pretty much endless. Um, new rail infrastructure, trade routes, etc. But to me, the biggest story was about settling uh, oil transactions and making trade transactions settled with the Chinese currency, the yuan, okay, instead of U.S. dollars. The same thing happened in Saudi Arabia this week. Saudi Arabia discussing, discussing with China, Saudi Arabia talking with China about tr settling their oil transactions with the Chinese currency, yuan. Okay, so that might not sound like much to the layperson, but when the petrodollar the U.S. dollar, which is how all oil transactions are settled, now will be upended and removed, and oil will now be settled with the Chinese yuan. That is a game changer. Arguably the biggest story we've seen in decades. The fact that oil has always been traded in dollars. If that were to end, that would mean the end of the U.S. dollar. Why is that? The U.S. uses the dollar as a cudgel. It uses it as an axe. It uses it to uh, put sanctions on other countries. Oh, we, don't, we want you to do this. We want you to act a certain way. So we will use the U.S. dollar to sanction you. You want oil? Well, it's because it's the petrodollar. You want to settle your oil transactions? You have to do it in the U.S. dollar. You better listen to us with our sanctions. The world's second largest economy and its largest energy exporter are together actively trying to dent the dollar's dominance as the anchor of the international financial system. Will they succeed? The dollar is America's last surviving superpower. It gives Washington unrivaled economic and political muscle. It can slap sanctions on countries unilaterally, which frees that country out of large parts of the world economy. And Washington can spend freely, certain that its debt will be bought up by the rest of the world. That's what we do. Now imagine if we remove the US dollar from, the, from oil transactions. Well, what happens? The US cudgel of sanctions starts to move away, starts to dissolve, and US power is dissolving. And that's why you're seeing this week, over the past 48 hours, the United States ramping up, wanting to increase their military budget by 40% to attack China. These are the words, literally, from our defense secretary that we're adding 40% to our defense budget 
for readying for war with China. This is why it all comes down to the U.S. dollar. It's about nothing else. It's not about Chinese soldiers showing up in your backyard and trying to steal your, you know, steal your pool toys. No, it's about it's about the economy. It's about the power of the U.S. dollar versus the Chinese yuan. And it's about a new global power alliance. So, folks, pay attention to what's happening here. In fact, we had our, our one of our team members, our bookkeeper, even reached out to us this morning and said, my husband and I are very concerned about what's about to happen. If, if Saudi Arabia switches from the U.S. dollar to the Chinese yuan, what does that mean for the U.S. dollar? We've been warning you here on the show what's happening to the U.S. dollar. All you need to do is look at what Jerome Powell just announced this week, right, which is a rate increase. Okay, a small rate increase, but then Fed watchers are seeing that we're going to see rate cuts in June and December. That means they are saying, they're throwing their hands up saying, we don't know what to do anymore. We're basically, we're done. We're going to let the market sort itself out. What that means is that investors are leaving the U.S. dollar. They're going to go to internationally to something more that are going to yield higher results instead of U.S. treasuries and bonds. We're going to get out of the U.S. dollar. We're going to go into other territories. So you're seeing now the decline, the buying power of the U.S. dollar plummeting. Is your retirement tied to the U.S. dollar? This is all you need to be asking yourselves. Like when you're sitting around the dinner table with your husband or wife, say to yourself, you know, is my, is my retirement account tied to the U.S. dollar? What that means is that these companies, these stocks, these stock market companies that you're invested in, right, Ford, et cetera, are their profits going to go down because the U.S. buying power is declining? Therefore, people are going to have less money in the United States. We are heading into a recession. That means these corporate profits that you're relying on for your stock values of your 401k to go up arguably are going to go down, right, in my opinion. I mean, you can just look at you can look at what's happening, right? If these companies are laying off thousands of people and people aren't buying their stuff, how are their profits going to go up and their stock goes up and your retirement account goes up? The answer is it's not. So where are you going to put your money? You know, again, I talk about real estate on this channel. You know, we if you want to book a call with our team, again, real estate, we're only building about 500 homes this year. So it's not like we have like millions we can help people with. But if you're someone who is interested in investing in real estate, you know, you can book a call with our team and we can help you in that. Also, I recommend, you know, personally, I recommend gold and silver and things like that. Actual tangible assets. Real estate is the top of my list. Gold, silver, those three. That's it for me, right? That's like the list for me. And I have a little bit of Bitcoin. But those are the tangible assets that have sustained for thousands of years. So again, if your retirement account is tied to what the US dollar is doing, buyer beware, protect your family. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you buy eggs. I, I care that you don't get screwed. That's all I care about. I really, really do.